I'm Richard at the Trading Post. Today, we're kind of continuing on with our interesting stuff at the Trading Post, some of our stories, and I think we got a few interesting ones for you. I think you'll like them. So let's start off. So we had this guy come in the store just to let us know that he left our store, drove across town, bought his item across town, just because we wouldn't match the price across town, the price they had across town three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all for price matching and you know trying to see what we can do. You know, we like to be very competitive, and in fact, I, I, I would dare say we have some of the best prices in the county when it comes to most everything we have. We, we, we try to be very competitive, but it, I'm, unlike the big retail corporate chains, I am not going to lose money to sell an item to get you in my store. I might cut you an excellent deal, but a lot of your big retail stores, they, they might have a specific item that they will actually lose money on just to get you in the store. I, I'll be competitive, very competitive, but let's get real. I, I'm not gonna lose money. I'm, I'm not a multi-billion dollar company. No, we're just a mom and pop shop that does very, very well because we take care of our customers very well and we are very competitive. Just on an everyday basis, I doubt you'll find cheaper prices anywhere. So we have another guy here that he called and he goes, uh, he goes, yeah, I have this Xbox 360, new in the box. Um, just wondering how much you'd give me for it. It's just, I, I lost the box. I guess, <laughs> here's another one of those. Yeah, it's a, you wouldn't believe how many calls we get. Yeah, it's, it's, it's brand new in a box, but I don't have the box. <laughs> and then they bring it in and it's got dust all over it and dust in the fans and, and well, that you, don't lie to us. <laughs> we see this stuff every day. <laughs> it's, oh, these people are just crazy. We had one guy come in and Asked if he could sell his underwear. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then here's here's a good one. Here's here's a good one. All right. So every now and then, uh, we have an employee that deals with a lot of theft cases and stuff like that. And this employee was at the courthouse one day uh, dealing with some some theft stuff at the courthouse and while he was in the courtroom he uh, watched this woman plead guilty to theft charges do you know well this they happen to be a customer of ours and one of the reasons he was there. Anyways, the guy comes in, I don't know, a few weeks later, and of course we notate the account that eh, they're thieves. <laughs> we had to go to court. They're, they pled guilty. And, you know, of course had the note. So look at the system. Sorry, man, you're, I, I don't want your stuff. You're, you're a thief. And this guy swore up and down, oh, I didn't plead guilty. Oh, my, my woman didn't plead guilty to theft charges. She, she didn't do that. No, it's, we're, we're not thieves. That wasn't our fault. <laughs> it's like, dude, we were there at court. We watched you plead guilty to the judge. Yeah. <laughs> People just, oh, and it's public record. We just, Look you up on public record because it's easy. Yeah. 
Uh, we had another customer that walked in with a 10 foot tall tree branch and claimed he was Moses. Yep, we get them all. And then my last one, this, this is my favorite one. We had a lady bring in a, an item that she wanted to sell. It was a box of condoms, uh, magnum condoms at that, claiming they had never been used. And she wanted to sell them, quote, because the owner would need them. So, yeah. Anyway, just, you just never know what's going to walk in the door. Um, amazing stories. Definitely a fun place to work. Uh, this kind of concludes our series of the week where we're discussing just kind of some interesting stuff and just some general talks. Uh, next week we'll get back into reviewing some everyday items that interesting stuff that comes in the store. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let us know what you think in the comments. Again, tell us your funny stories. Uh, we love to hear them. And of course, stop by the shop, give us a visit. You just never know what's going to walk in our door. We'll talk to you later. You didn't mention